Sarah from your coming. Such a pleasure to speak to you. Tell us what can people expect from Scrapper? Uh, it's a like bold, funny, like moving uh, film from the perspective of a kid. And tell us, you know, how did you first come on board? What was it like working with Charlotte? And I guess bringing to life this kind of, you know, social realist drama, but with all this kind of imaginative creativity, like, thrown in. Yeah, she's an amazing director. I mean, super creative. And, like, we really wanted to be from the perspective of kids, and, like, we're really childish. And so we just got to be kids for, like, the whole shoot, which was amazing. Um, so, yeah, it was, yeah. It, it was amazing. It was a really creative process. Quite a genius pairing, I think, bringing Harris Dickinson on board, you know, kind of like a known face by now in these new actors in, in Lola. What was it like seeing them on set and bouncing off each other in this incredible way? Yeah, like just amazing to see them. Like it, it, everything we did was to try and create the best environment for them to be that mad themselves. And so we were trying to not, you know, put lights, we were trying to work in a completely different way that, that gave them the floor and get them, allowed them to be totally kids and yeah like I said before we meant that we could be kids as well so we just had this like this really family atmosphere really creative could turn on a head at any moment like oh wow that's a, that's amazing over there let's go and do why don't they just do cartwheels over here that that would be fun kind of thing so like it was a really free non-constructed way of working and I think you can feel it in the film did you have a favorite moment on set or when you watch the film back now with the favorite bit that you like favorite moment on set so many um like the kids would come out with some banana stuff and we'd be shooting like, like have not to laugh you know right like all of us just like we broke we uh when he comes up and gives the roses there was a few broken so it's not even a funny moment but there was just like we couldn't we couldn't hold it in and then um yeah um no there was loads of amazing moments on the set and in terms of the takeaways, I mean, it does feel sometimes like these social realist dramas can be quite bleak. I mean, there's just so much joy, there's so much colour. And then these sort of moments will surprise you when they are so full of emotion. Yeah, yeah. Um, it always gets me, the ending. Yeah. It always what, gets me. What do you think people can take away from watching it? Take away from the film? Um, I think, you know, I think there's a real, like, they there's a real push to put like working class stories in a misery and then and, and like there's so much joy in co communities and like culturally like togetherness and 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 i think that's really missed out of like the description of working class stories a lot of the time so that's like one of the main things where we really wanted to show that like there's community and like joy and and you can get that from where you live um which yeah is often miss and seeing the reception at Sundance, see where it's been showing since, and, and here in London, I mean, what, what, what is it like to, to go on a journey with a film like that and, you know, see audiences in another country really connect with something that's so homegrown and British? Yeah, I mean, I think we have the best job in the world, like, uh, it's just a magical, and, and when you work with your friends and when you work with creative people where you feel free and excited to do the best work possible, uh, it's magic, yeah. And what are you going to be working on next, do you know? Uh, taking a break. I'm going to take a break. <laughs> I'm really enjoying the night. Thank you so much.